accidentally deleted this meeting from my calendar. So reestablish the schedule. Uh, Uh, also, um, those of you who are seeing weird environment effects uh, is because this region has been upgraded to the EAP simulator support. And the uh, current version is not doing all that it ought to do to convert those back into the old settings for use in your viewers. Um, is that going to be addressed, though? I hope. Oh yeah, we're we're okay. Uh, so uh, there's it, it's unfortunately it's not a it's not a super straightforward one to one mapping. So there are there are some things that might turn out a little weird, um, but uh, we're going to try and get them a whole lot better than where they are now. So. Um, much much left to do on that score, but uh, we're getting there. Um, so uh, that's what putting things on main grid and really finding out what's going on is all about. So uh, if the crazy sky is bugging you, set your environment locally in your viewer so that you don't have to look at it. Um, And uh, let's see. So other stuff. <laughs> Lots going on. Um, Animesh uh, is out there it's looking really close. Yeah, about that. Um, nope. You know. No okay. decision until there's a decision. But at the moment, there doesn't appear to be any re reason not to release this. I kind of feel like that's what you said two or three weeks ago. No, that's what you said a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> but it was looking very likely that yeah, it would be out on the Tuesday. Except that we had the big performance issue that Naran pointed out, and which we have since done some stuff about. Oh, uh, it's Naran's so, fault. That explains it. Yeah. Um, so we're 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 getting past that. I think there are no blocking bugs open against that. So we need to build up some hours on it and see how it behaves and give people a chance to to discover other new problems but um, at the moment we don't know of any reason why that couldn't get promoted pretty soon so uh, so pretty soon next Tuesday the Tuesday after possibly uh, you know what I have actually taken myself out of that decision making loop so I can't answer that oh that's that. convenient yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, fine where's gravity uh, uh she's i don't know she she's she might be tied she's up with waiting else me. she saw me log in and said oh, i'm not going yeah <laughs> um let's see other other things the bug splat thing is coming together i think it's has it gotten an update let me get the what's the status here dashboards viewers We have merged, so we had we had the we had a version we had a branch that was just doing the reporting to Bugsplat. We had another branch where we fixed where we fixed the fact that well we moved the updater to being a child process instead of being a parent process to the rest of the viewer, which fixes all the problems with having two icons on your taskbar and all that. Um, that's going through QA now. Those two have been merged together and is going through QA and that will appear shortly. Um, and hopefully that will go through the, since it has, other than the updater, it has no actual viewer changes uh, to speak of. So um, hopefully it will go through the release process pretty quickly and we'll get that out there and then be doing, we have left all the old, we think we've left all the old brake pad crash reporting in there. There's a compile time CMake switch for deciding which way you want to build it. So 
if you guys want to keep using the brake pad reporting, you should still be able to do that. Any updates that it, that, that stuff needs, uh, contribute them and we will merge them uh, as long as they don't break anything else. Um, the, uh, the render viewer continues. It's not really ready for prime time yet. Uh, it's not going to be promotion eligible. It's still got some bugs, but we're working, working on those. Uh, the estate management improvements, where did that end up? Out there. Let me look what its cohort status is. Uh, last time I looked at it, it had a bad crash rate, but it didn't have very many hours on it, so that didn't mean much. So let me see what, what it says now. Uh, yeah, so that just got an update. Oh, shoot, my proxy server went down. Hang on. Right, so the estate management viewer is out. It, uh, we don't, we don't have enough hours on that yet to be confident. But what crash rate we have for that is not very good. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so the the candidates for promotion at this point are are basically Animesh or nothing. Um, so we'll. So you you got pretty good odds. Just good odds. That's good. We I thought we had good odds before, but yeah, we were. They're they're better odds now. How's that? Um, we did actually have some fixes in that main viewer that just went out that we really wanted to get out. Um, other stuff. Uh, there's another maintenance viewer. Um, that's coming. A long doesn't have anything super radical in it. Uh, there is a the bakes on mesh project viewer. Uh, we're still deploying things on the back end, but that's that's uh, coming up real soon now. Um, and uh, of course, the EAP project viewer, as you know, is out. Um, that will be getting well. There's another batch of fixes going to QA even as we speak, and uh, so we'll we'll shoot for a roughly weekly um, update cadence on that project viewer until we feel as though we've licked enough of the of the compatibility problems and whatever other issues people find. So um, there's, there's a lot of changes. That's a that's a big deal. Um, it also looks very cool when you get it right. So um, encourage you to try it out. Um, and uh, we're getting into the holiday. We will soon be getting into the holiday season. So um, I'm going to have to take a look at when I'm going to be available and when I'm not and set the schedule for the third party viewer meetings for the rest of this year. So I will get that onto the wiki today after we're done here and um, check there for news. Um, uh, yeah, we don't have, we did, star maps didn't make it. That was not one of the things that we ended up doing. Um. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna get a bunch of stuff out. So. Um, uh, so that's all. That's all coming. Um, and in January, right at the beginning of January, we will disable the UDP asset upload path in the in the or asset fetching and uh, uploads in the simulator. Um, we've got people doing a final scrub on our code base to make sure we're not using any of them. So I understand we're really talking to you about that. Um, are you going to set up a region that we can test to see how much yeah, that breaks our current releases? Sure, we'll put we'll put that up on a DV first. Um, so it'll it'll be there, and you can you can test that. And then of course it will roll out the simulator will roll out on on uh, in the usual uh, you know onto one RC and then maybe onto more RCs and then eventually onto the. So one of my concerns with that is the timing. Um, since there's a no change window, obviously, at the end of December, um, yeah. we're going to have to be able to get something out there uh, that won't be broken um, before that no change window. You, you should already not be using that. Well, model. we're just, no, I, I, I don't think we are. But I'm pretty sure we're not. But yeah, we okay. kind of want to test. Uh, yeah. we, we do have at least one um, active viewer release, I believe, that is still using it. Or, um, yeah. 5 0 11. Uh, yeah. ECP as well. But we want to see if our current releases are going to be affected by it. They shouldn't be, but okay. I'd really like to test that. Like, yeah. we'll So, like, the sooner you can get a region set up for that, uh, that would put me at ease quite a bit. Yeah, okay, that's fair. I'll see what we can do. Um, it, in theory, it shouldn't take us too long. But we don't actually have it yet, so we haven't turned it off. So, uh, But it's mostly just Deleting some code, starting it up again. So simple script. <laughs> uh, so uh, let's see. So uh, Beck is just saying that you had. Uh, she's wondering. Just read local there. Uh, oh, I yeah, think that's well, the thing had... that we're worried about. Um. I don't. I don't remember. Because if, uh, if that's so something important, then we won't oh, have any was, releases. That was different. That's a that's an inventory operation. That's not among the things we're going to turn off. Although we will eventually turn that off too. But that's that's a different round of stuff. That was um, that was a, a fairly obnoxious bug. That was. Uh, trying to use trying to use a particular UDP inventory operation to move folders, and you weren't allowed to do that. To move certain folders, and you weren't allowed to, and so they ended up in the trash. Um, which was a weird way to deal with it, but anyway, that's what it was. Um, so, um, yeah. Uh, right, but that one, that is not among the changes we're going to disable in the, in the servers uh, in January. Uh, I would like to get that disabled sometime next year, um, relatively early next year. I want to get all the UDP out of inventory as well, because it'll make, it'll help make inventory more robust. But it turns out there are a couple, yeah, spotty catch. Um, uh, there are a couple of uh, HTTP inventory operations we need to implement in order to be able to get rid of all the UDP ones. So that's on the roadmap, and I'm hoping we'll get that done sometime in the first half of next year. 
and then uh, and then sometime later next year we will go through another one of the we're, we're getting rid of the old way of doing things and inventory will become incrementally more reliable I, th I think that was one of the ways you could end up with random things in, well, certain random things in trash, but I, I don't remember which ones they were off the top of my head. Uh, but it turned out it was, it was, it, that was just a bug in our initialization code. Um, it was using an operation that wasn't there or wasn't allowed. Um, I don't know. I'd have to go. Let me let me go back and look that one up. Oh, it was, yeah, so no, I'm not sure we do have a repro for that. Um, because what it was, was we were trying to move things there. Um, the way inventory is organized in the database is that each thing records what its parent is. So. And ultimately, that ought to lead back up to the root folder of some user's inventory. And each row also records who the owner of it is. And when we found rows that were owned by you, but whose parent folder did not ultimately lead to your folder, then we had to try and move it to get it back into your inventory. Um, it was in your, it was, it was owned by you, it just wasn't correctly it, it was like an item that wasn't in any folder including your root folder and when the viewer tried to repair that situation it was using an invalid operator so uh, the way to repro it is to damage your inventory to create that situation which we don't know how you do um, and then run the viewer um, unfortunately inventories do end up in that state somehow and I'm not really sure how so um, uh so that it was causing um some things to get get lost if you if you if you ended up in that state um yeah i don't i don't know whether you were one of the test cases for that or not um, but it's fixed in spotty catch And we did have we did have some uh, we had a, a, a an agent whose inventory was in that state, and we made a copy of it so that we could test everything. So, uh, but that is not among the things we're changing in. Uh, January on the server side. So don't need to worry about that one yet. Uh, and let's see, before anybody bothers asking me, um, we are making progress on more of the back end stuff that needs to happen before we can do name changes. And some of the other stuff that we said we would do this year that we haven't finished doing yet, it's all still in progress. Um, and 
Um, some of it might get out before the end of the year. Um, in addition to EAP, which will, which we hope will get out before the end of the year, but depends on how fast we find and fix bugs and when we get ahead of that curve. Not quite there yet. Um, so let's see, other topics? What else we got? Uh, Blue Z uh, keeps hounding on DUI, which um, yeah, to Stanimish. Yeah, that. Well, fingers crossed. I hope that gets out real soon now. Um, I think the consensus that. Yesterday's content creators meeting was supportive. Animesh and test region. Yeah, the Animesh viewer um, has has uh, you know a perfectly acceptable crash rate so far, but the latest build doesn't have enough hours on it to promote it. The crash rate that we've got doesn't doesn't mean much yet, um, but this time next week it should have enough. So we'll see. And maybe if lots of people download it and use it over the weekend, the number of hours will go up. Who knows? And then we can release it sooner. No fair starting a bot army, Jess. Uh, I'm working on that. <laughs> starting with uh, whirly clones. That could be dangerous, actually. Too many whirlies. Be careful what you ask for. Yeah, so the uh, so Arc 10 and Land Impact, the um, the kind of general roadmap there is that we've got Right now, uh, we've got the EAP stuff, which is consuming most of our rendering bandwidth, nearly all of our rendering bandwidth. Um, and after that's done, we want to get the um, texture fetching and caching rewrite out, and then we will focus on Arc 10. Uh, that's, the, that's the plan. Plans change, but as of right now, that's the plan. So I wouldn't expect an Arc 10 change before the beginning of the year. And even then, it's going to be a, a very slow roll. Um, yeah, I think the texture cache changes are going to be are going to be good. It will certainly be uh, much more robust than the current system uh, in terms of the software complexity. Uh, and I think the performance is is better, at least on most systems. Um, we actually, in our in the course of our testing, we actually did find that for some combinations of, uh, for example, a very fast network and a very slow disk, it was actually better to set your cache size at zero and just don't ever cache anything, which was really distressing. Uh, that, that, that means the cache really wasn't operating very well. You had it had to be a fairly extreme difference, but uh, you had to have a really slow disk and a really fast network. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. So um, we're fixing it, and I think that one's actually in in pretty good shape. We just haven't had the uh, had the the time to to I'll do the last few bits of polish on it and and get it into a release pipeline. And I, I do want to get that get that done. Hopefully, we'll be able to spend some time on that over the while while EAP is maturing. And uh, you know, we don't have a lot of 
weeks of opportunity between now and the end of the year to release things on, but because we don't want to do it more than every couple of weeks, but uh, we should be able to get a few releases out, a few viewer releases out between now and New Year's. Yes, well, the CDN does do a pretty remarkable job. Anything else that we haven't updated you on lately? Not that I'm aware of. Um, let's see. I think that's really all the all the news I've got. Early meeting. Yeah, we can we can start the weekend ahead of time. That works for and me. I can go back and repair my calendar. Good job. Good game. I was. I was cleaning up things around the holidays, and I think I just accidentally deleted all instances of this meeting. Uh, so just to look ahead, two weeks from today would be November 2nd. I see no reason not to do it then, so we will do it then, and then we'll, by then, I, we will know what, what it will be otherwise. Through the, I'll, I'll have the schedule through the, holidays and into the new year. All right. Uh, works for me. Cool. All good. Have a good weekend, everybody. Thanks, all. Okay, I got to get back to real life, too, so.